Good evening. I'll call this regular board session. Um, and I will ask Mr. Superintendent to do our invocation and pledge this evening. Okay, if you'll bow with me, please. Heavenly Father, as we come to you today, we come to you just um, thankful, thankful that we live here in Levy County, thankful for the blessings that you bestow upon us. Lord, we just uh, pray for those, so those that are dealing with sickness, those that, that are not able to be here with us tonight. And Lord, we just lift up them. We pray for your guidance and your wisdom as we make decisions and as our board comes together, so for the betterment of our students and our staff. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that you give us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Address the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. We move on to the adoption of the agenda. I make the motion to approve. Second. The motion and the second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes for the adoption of the agenda. I'd like to welcome everybody to the board meeting this evening. Thank you very much for coming. And I will turn it over to Mr. Superintendent. All right. Uh, Mr. McClellan will come up and join me. Madam Chair, board members, so it's, uh, it's always an opportunity when there's things that happen so that may be a negative light, but we have a way to find a silver lining and a positive. And uh, so as I, as I read to you, so as we all know that we had some students who uh, went into some self-induced medical issues at Chief of Middle High School. And so Mr. McClellan wrote, I'm writing to enthusiastically recommend Deputy John Gulledge for coming to the aid of our students during a difficult time. As you're aware, we had three students who used an illegal substance on the bus and entered the classroom. Upon entering, the students were severely impaired. It was due to a quick thinking of Deputy Gulledge that he was able to use Narcan to potentially save the lives of these students. We are blessed to have Deputy Gulledge at our school and are thankful for his training and quick response to mitigate any dangers that the students were in. So Madam Chair, board members at this time, so on behalf of Mr. McClellan, so on behalf of, of our board, so we'd like to present Deputy John Gulledge with an impact award for Mr. County. Mm -hmm. Appreciate and love you guys, but you're welcome to step out. So. Or you well, can I stay. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Except, thank you. except for you, Mr. Gore. <laughs> okay, we'll continue. With Continuing Mr. on. So, as you see here, so presenting to you the 24 and 25 uh, board meeting dates along with the trim calendar that uh, Ms. Ms. Lake has been able to, to bring to the board. So looking those for adoption on those make the motion to approve second the motion and a second any further discussion on the dates all those in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed same sign <coughs> motion passes and we will move on to mrs oberst Agriculture, and they brought to my attention 
some things that need to be updated in the procurement of the policy. So there's several things in there that they've added and we want to put it out there. For advertising. So this Good motion will be to advertise yes. <laughs> Make a motion to advertise the 10.0 policy for Mrs. Oberst. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion passes for advertising. I'm also advertising there's food out there. Miss Julie, <laughs> would you maybe talk about you shared uh, some new stuff that may be coming down from FDAX, so about the different farm. About the, yes, yeah, so there, um, it's in discussion right now. I've been going to different meetings. Um, the Florida School Nutrition Association was able to write a grant, and they will actually get the money and then supply schools in Florida, um, helping, I forgot the word, disadvantaged farmers. Um, so those farmers that maybe have small crops that are in our area, um, it's, it's kind of been a, something we can't get because they're too small, but there's a lot of paperwork that goes involved because they have to pass all of the uh, requirements by the government, um, logistics of transporting. So for instance, a couple years ago, there's a watermelon farmer here, but how do we pick up watermelons? My stand's only little. <laughs> So how do we get those watermelons from that farmer um, to the schools? So this is actually going to help. Uh, it's kind of ongoing, but they're finally making steps. And FDAX has approved, and so has the uh, USDA commissioner. And I'm sure that can be happening before. And I've already actually been approached by a few. I'm looking at a small um, shrimp farmer. I thought that's kind of cool for the kids to have some shrimp in their meal. Yeah. yeah. And cattle, even Quincy cattle. Um, I was approached not long ago by them, but like I said, it's just the logistics. So this will help get some of the things in our area to the plates. Right. About this time last year, we were approached by one of our students who was actually raising strawberries. So, and we couldn't quite get FDAX approval to try and figure out a way to get everything permitted and go through the necessary inspections that they needed to have for it to be here. So I uh, appreciate Miss Julia kind of advocating on behalf of our, our small farmers here in Levy County to provide an opportunity for them that we may be able to take advantage of. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You Move on to eight and it's Mr. Bennett. Uh -huh. Good evening everyone. Hello. Hello. So as you may recall, just to catch everyone up to speed, we have had two rounds of requests for proposals now for both internet services and WAN services, two separate RFPs each time. In the first round, um, we did not receive any bids for either, either proposal, so we chose with your permission to go out for bid again in the hopes that some of our traditional vendors that have responded to these would be responsive. So I'm here tonight to kind of share with you the results of those second round of RFPs. And I'd like to start with the WAN services. So that is the larger of the two contracts. And at the end of the second RFP cycle, we still received no bids from the bidders. Now, we had gone out to bid uh, because we were hoping to get a slightly improved um, bandwidth in our service. And so um, we fortunately do, however, have a current contract that does allow for two 12 month extensions. So given that we did not receive any bids on the second round, I feel that we're at a point where we need to go ahead and proceed with what we have. Um, that would be my recommendation to the board. So my request is permission to um, work with AT&T to extend our current WAN service, services contract for one year under the current contract. Okay. So that will be the, the first election item. Okay. So make the motion to approve. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions on the way? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes for the 18th extension on the way. All right, and that brings us to the internet services request for proposals. We actually did receive two bids for that particular um, request for proposals. One was from uh, AT&T, who currently holds our contract, and the other was from a vendor called EM3. 
Um, we, in the request for proposals, we specifically specified that we were requesting a 24-month contract with two potential 12-month extensions. Uh, the proposal that at and provided us did include those terms. The proposal that EM3 provided us quoted us a 36-month term with two possible extensions, and so would not align with the bid process that is required for E-rate, and so it had to be excluded. So given that, I would request permission from the board to go ahead and proceed with um, moving forward with at and for internet services, and we can get you a contract as soon as we can for that. So they, they just didn't do the right specifications? They did not. Um, it is, just for clarity, their solution from EM3 is fiber that is leased from at and Gotcha. So there were also some other considerations. Were we to have scored, there would have been other considerations that would have come up that so there's still a, potentially have been problematic. Right. Because they're not in the owner of the fiber. They're, they're turning around leasing it from at and Correct. Okay. Will they stay at the same amount, Mr. Bennett? We, uh, the bid was a competitive bid mm -hmm. um, that um, was seemed fairly reasonable. Uh, we will have to wait and see what the contract holds. Hopefully they will maintain that pricing for us in the contract and we can bring that to you. If, okay, if it differs, you mean it comes back? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have to approve the contract. So Correct, okay. We'll hopefully be doing that at, at the next meeting. Okay, thank you. Do I have a motion to accept the at and contract? So moved. Second. The motion and a second. Any <coughs> further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. At this time, anybody here that is a visitor that would like to make any board comments, now is your time to come up to the podium and speak. Any emails, Ms. Angela? Okay. Hearing none, we will move on to the consent agenda. And I minutes. Would, minutes. Minutes. I, I'm sorry. Missed that. 10.1. Approval of the February 27th board meeting minutes. Do I have a motion for those? So moved. Second. 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 Motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any further discussion, changes? Any opposed, same sign? Hearing none, motion passes for the board minutes. Move on to co the consent agenda. I'll start with Mrs. Brookins. I have to have all my questions answered, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Whitehurst. All my questions are answered, thank you. Mr. Aspen. Mine were all answered too. <laughs> I, must, I make motion yes. to approve the consent agenda. Okay. May I ask one question? Oh, yes. Quick I'm so question. sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to ask Mr. Bennett on that Zavaro, mm -hmm. and I know Mr. Cowart and I did speak about it. I just wanted to get it clear in my head. On that total, if they accept the E-rate, we're getting 80 or 90% of that back with the E-rate? 90%. 90%. Okay. And then the dates, it was... So this quote is valid until April 3rd, and then it comes back. The window for funding is April 1st. So do you think we'll get that E-rate definitely? We're and well they're not going to change that figure yeah, on April well 3rd? Time frame on that. And just for the clarity of the board, that what we're doing there is those are uninterruptible power supplies that are far more robust than what we have now, or some of our schools to help they'll be able to maintain power to the network, to the Wi-Fi network, so that the batteries that run a charge, like that top of Chromebooks, could keep working for an hour or so, maybe, um, even if the power went out. So okay. if we were testing today, it's meant to allow them to gracefully end testing through that outage. Okay, thank you. And then, Mr. Coward, I, that quiz, Quizzy Inc., when we discuss that? Mr. Morgan, can you, what quiz is? Quizzes is, is that actually was not something that came from me, but it is an online service, and the online service uh, is basically just there's no cost to the board on this, so this is just our student data, so that we have to. Okay. So, I believe that was yeah, just a bad a data okay. security agreement that someone submitted. Okay. Thank you so very much. Um, 
all my other questions have been answered as well. Do I have a motion to accept the consent agenda? So motion. moved. Second. Second. The motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any further discussion? Any opposed? Same sign. Motion passes. And the Finance 12.1. Do I have a motion to accept the finance? So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, finance section passes. Mr. Superintendent. This yes, time, Chair. So at this time, so I'm going to allow, we've got a student here visiting from Ms. Schuler's class, and so I'm going to have him introduce himself. So. I'm Jacob Aldrich. I am a senior at Bronson Middle High School. And that's what I'm doing. I'm here to sit, to be here for a school board meeting. You are a senior? <laughs> it is awesome to have you here. Very much are so. you taking lots of notes? Yes. <laughs> You are a senior. Man, you make me feel old all of a sudden. There's the kid. Look at you. It's good to see you. Anyway, sorry. So, just wanted to recognize Jacob. So, appreciate so Ms. Schuler um, with her American government class. So, since kids so uh, here. And so, appreciate them coming and seeing how a process of government works. So, it is that time. So, that's for you. Okay. Uh, Swanee River Fair. So, uh, coming up and looking at uh, purchasing an animal, so uh, as we've always done in the past. So it's kind of broke down. Last year we, we purchased the Cedar Key chapter uh, pig. So this year Cedar Key has one. They have a chapter goat, I believe, is what they, they're having this yes, year. Yes, they do. Um, and Yankee Town does not have a, an animal this year. But if you look at the breakdown through the years, uh, Bronson, 10 animals, Chiefland, 10 animals, and Williston, 10 animals. So. Um, just uh, the opportunity. So, and if you look kind of in the, the spe specs of things of the rotation, Chiefland or Williston would be, be up next. So, just looking for some direction from you guys about moving forward with purchasing an animal in uh, either Chiefland or Williston. So, or Bronson if something uh, good comes up for, for us there. We want to move forward. And just keep going. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. I appreciate that. So, and then um, not to kind of. Uh, steal anybody's thunder so but was able to uh, visit out at Cedar Key today so Miss Hanlon so Miss Young so Miss uh, Miss Lewis actually Miss Young wasn't there but has been a part of this process where we've been going through so Miss Rollins Miss Eastman uh, Miss Allen Darby and uh, Miss Tanya Taylor so uh, along with myself I was able to make it out today so and we're able to kind of hit uh, six or seven classrooms we had two different, actually three different groups, because we also had UFLY, um, had the regional director from UFLY out there. So it was a really good time to be able to get in some classrooms and really kind of hone in on explicit instruction and really a second round after our teachers have had some professional learning and kind of honing in. So seeing some really good things uh, come to life in classrooms today. So was able to appreciate that. Um, won't... No, there's a lot coming out, so we'll be having uh, some information from session, so I won't touch a whole lot on that. The deregulation stuff kind of got a little bit watered down uh, in the end, and uh, unfortunately our, our project didn't got, did never got funding in the House side, but was fully funded in the Senate side. Really appreciate Keith Perry and his efforts over the last two years to kind of help with this process. You saw the playground equipment there. Um, he was definitely... A really really big help in pushing that across and then even this year with us not getting funded was still kind of carrying the torch on the Senate side um, there was a lot of talk about social media and uh, the house uh, had a really robust social media uh, legislation that that was pushed through was signed in both houses passed in both the house and the Senate and then the governor vetoed it and um, that was late in the session so there were um, there was some difference of opinions on, on a few things like that. Uh, I, I am happy to share that um, deregulation is not dead, that there will be continuing talks next year to bring back some of the things that didn't make it this year that would have been beneficial for our staff. So we'll continue to, to have those conversations through the summer. 
and then into the fall. So as we, we bring our legislative platform to you guys. So, um, budget wise, uh, I'm still kind of shaking out. So Kip, Miss Lake and I haven't sat down, but they are increasing the BSA. But we always know that with the increase in the BSA that there's been increases in the FRS. So it kind of, uh, they give you in one, one hand and you put it in one pocket and then you take it out and put it in the other pocket, so to speak. So, but all in all, um, there wasn't as much of the uh, legislation that uh, kind of hampers the ability of our teachers and our staff to do their job. So I'm appreciative of that. So. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Superintendent. Mrs. Brookins? Um, Chief of Middle High School, they had, they host the district um, career fair for our schools and it was extremely successful, well attended um, by businesses, students, and just everything went great. And another wonderful thing that they had happen is that the scholarships that students applied for just doubled. So there was over 500 scholarships that, you know, the, the students um, applied for and I think that's a, a great, wonderful thing and um, that they have there available for that. And, um, I'm thankful Mr. Cowart's feeling better and made it to our meeting tonight. Thank you, that's all I have. Thank you, Mrs. Brookins. Mr. Whitehurst? Um, first, I want to congratulate the Williston High School basketball team, back-to-back -back state champs, so that certainly was yeah. fun. Uh, went down to Lakeland and saw that. Um, they got, had to run for their money, though. They didn't. They had to earn it, for sure. Yeah. That team come out there to win it. So. But in the end, Wilson prevailed, so that was exciting. Um, yeah. Looking forward to the Swan River Fair. It's a lot of work. It's kind of, you know, but all the kids, you know, put the hard work through all the, you know, five months and kind of nice to see them kind of showcase it and see what they can do. And, you know, it's always nice after sale day too for the parents out there. <laughs> Sad for some of the kids, but I'm, I'm ready for a little bit of break. So, but yeah, it's good. And um, excited the daylight savings time. We're going to get out of meeting and it's still going to be daylight. So that's always a plus. Get something done. <laughs> yeah, actually get something done. Get home from work and actually can still be outside playing with your kids. So um, I don't have anything else. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. White. You got something else? Oh, oh, tell us about it. Brag about it, man. That's the <coughs> one kid that's, that loves you. Oh, my son hit an over the fence home run in oh. uh, travel ball this weekend. So yeah, that's wow. Cool yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh. Boys in school? Yeah, well, Ava, yeah. Elementary school. Yeah. Got that from his mama, who's from Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> I think he may have set you up on that. Yeah, he probably did. So. <laughs> there had to be a reason. The Bronson side of it. Yeah, that's the Bronson side of it. Can you bet? <laughs> I don't, I don't have a whole lot. I was not at the last meeting. I, I skipped out, Had a, took a personal day. Um, but I want to say thank you to all of you for your help in participating in the uh, food fest that the Bronson FFA had. It was, uh, it was an excellent year, and, and I appreciate y'all purchasing cakes that were delicious. They were fantastic, yeah. although I did thank corner you. up you to get a slice of that one. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just get it later. Okay. And, and, uh, but uh, Bronson FFA qualified uh, fourth in the state in the Ag Mechanics Contest. Uh, and now they move on to the state contest. First part is a test. The second part is a hands-on thing. And it's, it's, it's kind of funny. Our, our team is made up of, of two kids that are very book guys and two kids that are probably hands-on, very hands-on guys. So this is going to be interesting, but it's the best they've ever done in that contest and they are very proud of it and it's kind of cool um, it's it's great like mr. Whitehurst said the fair is going on I I participated in the fair you participate we probably all have participated in the fair at some point um, and in Levy County and in our area our truck it's it's fantastic to see how that is supported and uh, I'm sure at the next meeting we'll all be talking about who won what and wasn't it great and it, they brought in record amount of money again it, it's amazing how people come out to support kids sure. at that and the hard work that goes into it so I, I I'm thrilled that we are continuing our support of that and that, that's all I have for tonight thank you Mr. thank Oswald. you um, I'll start by some announcing some other good news too um, mr. Cowart was able to be present and 
They honored the valedictorian and salutatorian Cedar Key as well today. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the valedictorian was Alyssa McCain and the salutatorian was Kaylee Lauer. Awesome. And cool. I believe that they were surprised. So they, it, was, it was nice to see them. Um, baseball, softball, track and field on a roll. And one of the teacher's students down there just did, he started pole vaulting last year and now he beat his personal record at the last track meet and did 10 foot six. Wow. So he's, he was very excited and that's, that's hard to do. <laughs> yeah, how do you yeah. <laughs> doing that? Um, to echo some of the legislative stuff, I sent out two emails to everyone and I included Mr. Power. I sent out the latest from Dr. Um, Danielle Thomas from FSBA, the legislative director there, and that'll give you the final um, report and, and bills there. And then there is, from the president-elect of FSBA, there's a survey, and Ms. Angela forwarded that again, um, but I'd like to mention it. It's a survey that they're trying to get all board members to complete and just get your input on conferences and what you'd like to do and how you'd like to be a part of that. Um, so that's, if you look in your email for that. And I was going to ask either Council or Mr. Power about that House Bill 1557. The, the ruling, did you get that by chance in, in your uh, email no. and how that, if no. that at all is going to affect us? Okay. I seen it yet. Okay. Um, that was the other question and looking forward to spring break and the fair. Yes, sir. Ms. Doyle, well, I, I need to correct something slightly. I think I may have misspoke in my response to your answer question earlier. Um, the Zavaro is actually category two, so that's 85% reimbursement. So okay. WAN and internet services are 90%. Thank you. My apologies. That, that, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. 5%? <laughs> it's still a big chunk to get back. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, and I think that's all I have. No other business, meeting adjourned.